Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a desk tour, and the previous video was that desk tour. Now I'm just going to do my art desk tour. So, let's get started. Since I did one last year, I thought I'd do a 2017 one. Alright, let's start up here. Um, so I have, this is where I keep all my sharpeners and some random snow globes. I don't really know what to do with this right here. I don't have anything to put, but uh, I have a lava lamp that, and a cute little kitten poster. I mean, whatever, calendar. Um, then we'll go in here. I have my watercolor palette. Um, some Stabilo pens that are, or slash markers, they're amazing. I have some chalk pastels and a calligraphy set. <clears throat> and then, this is kind of the stuff that doesn't look so good, so it's just kind of stuck in here where you can't see it. Um, so just like cut balls, um, Q-tips for blending. That's my tip for you, is Q-tips blend everything. Uh, random paper, like, for notes and stuff, and then I have some, like, tan-ish brown, um, chalk pastel, and some charcoal. And then below, I have, uh, my paper, this random crappy sketchbook, some smooth Bristol paper, and some tan tone paper, as well as some <clears throat> watercolor paper. And I actually, now that I'm counting these, I'm missing my big, oh, I see it. <laughs> it's buried under all this junk. All right, here's another <laughs> sketchbook. Yeah. Uh, this one is just smooth Bristol, but bigger. So I'll just put it in there. All right, now I have all my paper. Over here, um, I love these Starbucks cups, they're so pretty. Um, I have my, like, pens, so I have my pens, uh, markers, brushes, <clears throat> and pencils. And then I have some more, uh, watercolor palettes as well, as well as some foam. Or spun? No. What do you call this? I guess just foam. <laughs> uh, ruler. And then I have my old acrylic paints. A lot of them are all gone or dried up. But And then I have a mixing palette. A water cup for watercolor and acrylic paint. These like, this, these are like the lids for this. But um, they're actually really handy for like blending colors, like watercolors and... You know, I'm just blending paints. Um, and then I have, I have this like craft paint that's like glossy. Also some metallic craft paint. So this is like my craft paint. Pretty much the same thing as acrylic paint, just like glossier I'd say, except for this one, this one's matte. But um, then I have like a bunch of like big tubes of acrylic paint, as well as a big tube of glossy um, craft paint. And then I have um, just some glue and tape and a stapler <laughs> and um and then I have my uh like better acrylic colors acrylic paints that I got like a couple days ago I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen of them and they're really nice I haven't really used much of them um I have a compass <coughs> Now I have some erasers, um, a color chart for my Prisma colors. I'll just put that here. Uh, just some art that I haven't put away yet. Um, and then some canvas. I have three canvases. And um, let me know what I should do with them because I have like no inspiration for painting them. Like with acrylic paint, I haven't worked with painting with acrylic paint in such a long time. I don't really know what to do with them. So just comment down some suggestions below. I'd love to do like nature or animals, but I don't know anything specific. <laughs> um, I have just a bulletin board with like some ribbons from the fair for my art. That's all I have so far because I don't know what else to put on it. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. Um, I have 
what is this called? What is that called? Oh god, I don't remember. What is it called? A tripod! That's what it is. I couldn't remember. Okay. And then we have the beautiful, amazing 150 pack of Prismacolors that I got for Christmas. And oh my god, I'm in love with these. Like, oh, look at that. You just look. Oh god, look at all these colors. Or I can't. Look at all these colors. Holy cow. Yeah, these are amazing and I'm in love with them. And I kind of don't want to use them just because they look so pretty and nice and I don't want to ruin them. But, um,. Of course, I'll use them. They're amazing. And then I have a color... I already mentioned this earlier, but... I have a color chart so I can, like... Um, see which color I like. And... Or, like, which one fits the best. And it's really handy-dandy, you know? And then I just have some scrap paper to, like... Test out stuff on. And then, under here... I have more watercolors. And I don't know why there's hot glue on it. Oops, whatever. Um, it's technically not mine, it's my sister's, but she never really uses it. And they're actually really, really nice. And I love them. And yeah, I want my sister to give them to me, but she won't. And I want her to, because she never uses them. I hate when that happens. All right, and then under here I have um, more Prisma colors, the 48 pack. These are older, and I took them out of their case a while ago. I don't know why, I just kind of felt like it. Let me open them. Yeah, um, I still use them. I mean, I will. I give them to my mom and sister so they can color a new coloring book my sister got. And they love them. They're like, oh, Prismacolors are so great. And I'm like, I know, right? Okay, and then we have um, clipboard and some just like bright paper. That's kind of where I put it because I didn't really know where else to put it. Okay, um, and then here we have some, we have all my scissors, that I got these for Christmas, like four, no, I got five of them, and then I have, um, I don't know why this is here, but I have markers that I wouldn't fit in the marker cups, like big markers, I have fishing wire for some reason, I don't really know why that's there. And then I have just like some cheap old um, Crayola markers. Then here, if you remember from the last room tour, this is my junk drawer. It still kind of is. It's just a more organized junk drawer, you know? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. There's just like plastic and stuff so I can mold it and melt it. Yeah. All right, moving on bubble wrap back there and some um packing tubes for my art okay here i have some more loose art that i haven't put away um here's my paper like extra paper in this binder like colorful paper and stuff like that and then this is my art binder um i love going through this binder on my live streams on um uh instagram so um if you want to like look through it with me and i also like to do art on the live stream and it's really fun <laughs> um go check out my instagram i'll leave it up on the screen somewhere um or maybe i won't just check the description box down below <laughs> um and this is still my crappy art supplies i have like some crappy pencils some crappy clay, some awful enemy crayons, and some kids paint, just crappy stuff. Oh, except for Shrinky Dinks. Shrinky Dinks are my favorite. They're like, Shrinky Dinks are bae, and if you've never played with them, you need some right now. I don't know what to make with them though. Oh, so yeah, that's my crappy stuff. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, 
in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed these room tours. I wanted to make this like an annual thing. Like every single year I do a room tour. And then you could just see. I like to see. And I don't know if you guys do. But I like to see how things have changed. And <laughs> all the new stuff I've gotten over the year. And so um, yeah. Feel free to leave comments down below. And definitely leave a like if you like this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, Happy New Year. Thank God 2016 is over. Am I right? Bye, guys.